What's good YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again with another sneaker review video. Hopefully you're having a great day wherever you are in the universe. Just gonna briefly go over a few shoes that are coming out in the next few weeks that caught my eye. Starting off with this Jason Tatum Air Max 97. Come out on the 15th of the month. Jason Tatum, De'Aaron Fox, and Devin Booker all came out with a lifestyle shoe from Nike. This Jason Tatum edition is pretty fire. Let me know who's going after them. I think they will be released on the sneakers app as well as maybe like House of Hoops. Let me know who's going after them, man. Them things are super fire. Next shoe that's worth mentioning is the Air Max 1 Be True. We chilling at a 130 price point, also dropping on the 15th of June. Let me know who's going after these shoes, man. These represent the LGBTQ community, but you don't have to represent that to get the shoes man the color combination the color blocking on here is fire i like the multiple color nike swooshes on the side panels of the shoe pretty fire detailing information going on on the uh insoles let me know who's copying these who's going after them let me know in the comment section below it is a fire shoe the next shoe we're going to talk about is this atmos nike air max 2 it's a japan release exclusive i believe it's retailing for like 130 let me know who's going after these if you have an option to go after them would you cop them or they pass. This color combination is fire. I'm liking that lacing on the same colorway. Pretty dope. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Another shoe that we're talking about, Pretty Born, another $700, $300 retail. Cop them if you want them. Next shoe is Pretty Fire for the, uh, you know, it's a GR release for the grade school people out there. Kyrie 5 Black and Metallic Gold. Pretty dope, man. 110 price point. For my Kyrie lovers out there, let me know what you guys are thinking. Pretty much my CDs all over the court also during the summertime for the Little Leagues and the AAU basketball games. Let me know what you guys think about those below. Next shoe is the Odell Beckham Jr. Air Max 2, King of Drip. As, you, as they call them, you know, retailing for was a 200 price point coming out on the 21st of June. Color combination is also dope. They're adding different shoes, putting them together, man. This one is pretty fire. The, the materials that they used on here, the suede is pretty dope. The mesh, I like it, man. This shoe right here is pretty much like, maybe like an eight and a half, nine out of 10. You know, the 3M hints on there, as you can see around the toe box area. Pretty dope, bro. Another Yeezy 350 V2 coming out again. What do you guys think about this, bro? Are they, are they killing it? Too much of them? Let me know your thoughts and opinions of these Yeezys, bro. Now this shoe right here, this Ultra Boost, SNL Ultra Boost, I've seen it before. If you've been watching some of my videos, I've been seeing these at finish lines on deck. There's many colorways that have came out. This is one of my favorite ones that I have released. Set to come out on the 23rd, but I have seen these on shows already. 180 price point, you can't go wrong with it. Boost is still very comfortable, even though it might not be hyped. It's still very comfortable. Let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below. Next shoe, I'm not too sure about this release date, but these ones are loud, but they are dope to me. Nike Blazer Mid Gel, not sure what the retail is on them, not even sure the actual re, you know, release date. If you know that, let us know in the comment section. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Got like that cow fur or pony hair, whatever you want to call it. It's like a what the blazer type of thing going on. I definitely will try to get my hands on one of these things. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below, you feel me? So last but not least, this Air Max 270 React. Nike has definitely been doing a lot lately, combining combination of shoes like the Presto React and things of that nature. These right here to me are pretty dope. You got the React in the forefoot, you got the Air Max in the, in the uh, back area by the heel, you got the vibes of so many different Air Max and Nike Reacts and all of it in one shoe, man. Super fire. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on those. Is that something that they're doing too much? Or is that a perfect combination of a shoe? I'm pretty sure it's gonna be comfortable. It got that React in the front, the Air Max in the back, dual technology. I'm looking forward to that shoe and you know they're gonna come up with some crazy colorways. Let me know what you guys think about all these shoes that we have talked about. Which one you guys feel is your favorite? Which is a must have? which is a must pass. We're gonna do more videos like this also, this way and another way, man. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content. Keep watching the videos, of course. Follow me on the gaming channel if you wanna get down with some of the gaming content, gaming with Bosco. And if you're down with some thrift and stuff, let me know, man. Check out Bobby Thrift. Without further ado, I'm about to get out of here. Once again, always a great time talking to you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.